Are you wondering how to stream on Steam? No worries. Aside from some initial setup, it's actually quite easy. In this video, I will show you how you can start streaming to Steam using a free tool called OBS or Open Broadcaster Software. Okay, let's get started. First of all, in order to stream, you need a Steam account that is non-limited. Usually this just means that you need to spend $5 on that account. Then you need to own the game you will stream and your account also must have the broadcast live permission. I'm not really fully sure what that is all about as I haven't gotten any special permission and I was able to stream just fine. Alright, so let's move on to the setup. Navigate to a website called steamcommunity.com slash broadcast slash upload. On this page, scroll down to the Upload Settings. In here, you need to add the app ID of your game. And a quick side note, in case you are going to stream the demo of your game, you still need to enter the main game's app ID here. Then you can also adjust the broadcast delay, but it's okay to leave as it is. If you scroll down a bit, you might also make sure that the viewer permission is friends only. You will need to adjust this to public later on, but while you're still testing it out, it's good to have it set as friends only, just in case. Now, at this point, go ahead and open up OBS. If this is your first time using OBS, it might be a good idea to take a few minutes just to look at the features and see how it works. If you want to keep it really simple, go to the sources section in OBS and click on the display capture. Then if you go to the properties of that source, you can set which display you want to show. You should now see your desktop on the OBS's preview window. But let's say you don't want to stream your whole desktop. Another, maybe better alternative would be to add a game capture source. You can define it to target only a specific game window so only that game will be shown if that is the source that is visible. It's a good idea to play around with OBS a bit before you start actually streaming. But let's move ahead in the tutorial and let's go to the settings in OBS. In here, let's go first to the output section. Here the only thing you need to do is set the keyframe interval to 2. This is required to stream on Steam. The other settings you can leave as is. Then go to the stream section. In here you will need to enter the streaming server settings. Make sure that you have custom selected as the service. Then let's go back to the Steam broadcast web page. In here you can find the upload server which you will need to copy and paste to the OBS server settings. Then do the same with the upload token on the web page. Copy paste that and put it in the stream key section. And by the way, this token is unique to you and you shouldn't reveal it to anyone. Once that is done, hit apply and then close the settings. Now you actually have almost everything set up already. Let's see if everything is working so far. Make sure you don't have anything private visible on your OBS preview window, just in case. Then go ahead and click the start streaming button. Once you have done that, Go to the Steam broadcast page and on there click the Your Broadcast URL. If you have done everything correctly, you should see your stream on this page. If you don't see it, make sure that you have filled all the details correctly. We are very close to the finish line, but there still are a few things we need to do. The first thing is to give yourself a permission to stream. There are two ways to do this. The first and most simple way is to go to your app admin page, then navigate to the edit store page and then to the special settings. Then in there there's a section called Steam Broadcast. In here you will want to click the add me as a broadcaster button or maybe use the other buttons to add someone else to this list. Everyone who is on this list will be able to stream to your game's Steam page. So, once that is done, you might also want to check the settings below it just in case if there's something you want to change, but otherwise hit save and then go publish the changes. 
This is the most straightforward way of giving yourself a permission to stream on your game's Steam page. But there is also another way of doing it. You can create a special Steam broadcast event, and in the settings of that event, you can do the same whitelisting as before. This can be useful if you want to limit the streaming to a specific slot. Once the permissions are OK, go back to the Steam's broadcast web page. In there, you now need to set the viewer permission to public. Once you have done that, you're all set. Now every time you press start streaming on OBS, the stream should appear on your game's Steam page. So be careful with that button. And if you're planning on streaming to an event, it might be a good idea to test your setup a bit before the event. If it's going to be your first live streaming session, it very likely will be quite nerve-wracking. So it's good to make all the preparations beforehand. And by the way, if you're curious how my first live streaming session went, I actually have a recording of that on my channel. Oh god, there are over 2000 of you there. Okay. Maybe I should not have <laughs> looked. <laughs> now my master's is falling off. Great. I was very nervous and not sure if anything would work, but luckily everything went smoothly and without any technical issues. So maybe that can give you some confidence that it won't be so bad. Okay, but hey, that's all there is to it. So thanks for watching and if you found this helpful, I would really appreciate if you left a like and a comment also for the YouTube algorithm. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.